So if you could live anywhere in town, what's you know a couple of your favorite neighborhoods? So if you're curious about some of the best neighborhoods in Gainesville, you're definitely in the right spot. Today I'm gonna to take you around with a special guest and share with you some of the best neighborhoods that you probably haven't even heard of. First, we're just gotta get kids dropped off and then we'll get started. Hey guys, Donovan here and we've got the kids dropped off and we are joined again after months of requests. We've got my beautiful wife, Katie, joining us again today. As you know, Gainesville native, so she's got a lot of input, a lot of thoughts. Of course, being married to a real estate agent and me, we talk real estate a lot. And one of the things we like to do is talk about if we were to move, where would we go next? So I thought I'd take you along today as we have that conversation, show you some awesome neighborhoods and go from there. So if you could live anywhere in town, what's you know a couple of your favorite neighborhoods? I really like um, Huntington. It's off of 39th Avenue. It's easy access to shopping, uh, the interstate, and parks and great schools. Um, it's an older neighborhood, so it's got a lot of mature landscaping and trees, which I personally like. Um, and it's just a good neighborhood feel. Most of the homes were built in the 90s, so that gives you an idea of her age. Um, but it is a great neighborhood. You can get basically a third of an acre on up close to a full acre in the neighborhood. The homes are going to range from about 400,000 on up close to 800,000. In that price range, you can expect to get about 2,500 square feet on up close to 5,000 square feet. Lots of the homes have pools, four bedrooms. Again, you know, a nice new community, mature landscaping, perfect location. Definitely one you should check out if that's a price range you're looking in. So you honestly surprised me a little bit with Huntington. If I had to guess, I would have definitely guessed you would pick a different neighborhood. Um, what's another that you would say was in your top three that you would like to live in? I really like Wilds Plantation. It's on the southwest side of Gainesville and that's where I grew up. So I'm familiar with the area. Um, I know kind of the lay of the land. Um, it's a newer neighborhood, but kind of newer neighborhood with bigger lots um not quite as many you know mature trees which i really enjoy but um it's just a, a good neighborhood feel you're always going to see kids and families out playing uh, and it just has that kind of i think i want to live here kind of feel wilds plantation is definitely a beautiful neighborhood a lot of great builders over there most of the homes were built early 2000s they finished up the neighborhood and they're actually building another neighborhood right next door wild plantation estates so if you're looking for brand new construction that's definitely an option prices over there are going to range from you know roughly 500,000 on up close to a million dollars but again just beautiful homes great locations great school zones pretty much everything you can ask for in a neighborhood so another area that I really like just because the homes are so unique is going to be over in Northwest Gainesville and it's just off of 16th Avenue, basically between 34th Street and 13th. Um, there's a handful of really cool neighborhoods over there. You've got Ridgewood, Raintree, and Florida Park. Again, it's a great location. Um, I like it because there's actually some really cool mid-century modern homes. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, you know, it's not maybe our specific style but we can appreciate and love how unique it is and again it's just a, a dramatic opposite of cookie cutter so if you're looking for something a little bit different definitely check out that area is there anything you like about that specific area kind of the nice thing about that area is it's a little bit more hills um like whatever they are hills for florida um but so the topography is just a little bit more interesting in that area You've also got some nice uh, walking trails, parks, there's Hogtown Creek that goes through there. So again, it's a little bit change of scenery, some older homes built in the 50s and 60s. And again, something that's gonna be a little bit unique, a little bit different for the area. You can typically find homes in the mid 200, ranging on up close to half a million dollars, but you're right on the edge of sort of campus, I would say the, the college area, but you don't necessarily feel like you're in a college town just yet. As you get a little bit closer or a little bit south from that spot you'll start to see the scooters and everything else feel like a college town but really from 16th on north 
you know, you could do pretty much day in, day out, normal life and not even think you're in a college town. So real quick, if you're new to the channel, we talk about all things Gainesville. We talk about the best restaurants, the best schools, all the great places to live. If you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button. Also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. And so we can show Katie some appreciation for joining us today. Make sure you smash the like button so we can get her back on for another video. So speaking of another neighborhood that is just kind of a cool location, a cool kind of feel to it is Sugarfoot, Inglewood area. Um, it's right off Newberry Road and it's kind of midtown area. Um, so it's not, you know, super far west or downtown, kind of in between. And they have great shopping, um, dining right across the street from the neighborhood. Um, and so it's just kind of a convenient area of town to live in. That is a, a great location. I mean, pretty much everyone who knows the area loves it. And if you're new to Gainesville, it's really convenient because you're close to everything. So it keeps everything pretty simple. The homes over there are a little bit older, most built 50s, 60s, um, some into the 70s. You typically are going to get about a third of an acre. And again, over there, prices can range a little bit, but starting in the mid 200s, roughly. And I've seen some go up closer to 500. There's a cool little lake back there and some of the properties that back up to it. Just really unique location. Again, you can find some mid-century modern type homes some typical ranch style homes there's all sorts of options definitely not a cookie cutter area or neighborhood and again like katie mentioned with that location you really can't complain so one neighborhood i've always liked and i think it's a great location is going to be brookfield it's over in northwest gainesville and it's newer homes you know built in the late 90s early 2000s you can find stuff for roughly around three hundred thousand dollars um, but are you familiar with that area? Yeah, um, so it's a great neighborhood because it's right across from um, Hidden Oak Elementary and Fort Clark Middle School. So imagine if, if you're a family, your kids walking to school, you walking your kids to school, um, or as they get older and they go to middle school, it's just right there. And so you just don't have that, you know, concern for safety. That would be our, I would love the neighborhood just because again, they have, they're so close to the school and then they've got basketball courts, playground, uh, swimming pool, and with three boys to be able to just sort of turn them loose on neighborhood amenities is extremely appealing. Um, so that would be a great location, it's a place to check out. Again, that's called Brookfield. So next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and watch this video where we drive you around town and share with you some other great Gainesville neighborhoods and let you know exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area.